I am Pam and if this is your first time coming to my channel welcome 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 thank you very much for joining us today welcome to the Pam Fam so now I just told you welcome to the Pam Fam that means that you're family whether you like it or not okay so just um, yeah so now that you're family I need you to do something for me I need you to go ahead and hit like because you in here already but comment down below if you want to say something like hey girl how you doing I loved your video you know something to that effect <laughs> And also, please hit the subscribe button. All right. So today's video, what I'm talking about is these two fragrances here. My good friend, well, she's my good friend now. My good friend, Sheracy Lewis, talks about Chanel, the house of Chanel all the time. And so I am experimenting with the house of Chanel. And so I got me the house of Chanel, Coco Mademoiselle, or the Parfum, and Coco Mademoiselle, or the Toilette. So I got these two fragrances, and I am testing them out while well, I tested them. Yeah, and if you're interested in hearing what I gotta say about these bad boys right here, please, please, please stay tuned. Hi again, everyone. So I am back to talk about these bad boys right here. These are Coco, what is it, Coco Mademoiselle. These are Coco Mademoiselle. One is the Eau de Toilette, and one of these are the Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum, that's some fancy, Eau de Parfum. So this bottle, well, let me get to, to talking about this first. Chanel Chanel is a favorite house of Sheree. And Sheree talks about fragrances and she loves fragrances. You know, she loves everything fabulous like I do, okay? But the thing is that she talks about this house all the time. And so because she talks about this house all the time, I really wanted to try it. I really did. I had tried Chanel before and I wasn't really feeling it. And I gave it away. I think it was, I don't remember what it was I bought, but this is many, many, many years ago. And so I said, well, maybe they, maybe they update game. Hmm, who knows? And so let me try. Okay. So I went and I asked my hubby, Hey, I sent him a picture. Can you pick this up for me, please? And I said, I didn't send a picture of this. I said, honey, can you pick this up for me, please? I sent him a picture of this. He come back with this. He came back with the other one. I said, baby, that's the wrong one. You know, because this is the one I think uh, Sheree talks about. So he said, oh, ah, it's the same. It's just a watered down version. Just spray more on it. And I'm like, eh. So I looked at some reviews. I looked at Erin Nicole TV. I looked at Sheree's uh, video again. And then I looked at other people's stuff just to see what they had to say about it. And, you know, I'm like, okay, well, let me try both of them. So this week, it's only a few days into the week. And so I said, well, let me try it. Okay. So I tried it over the weekend. And uh, these two, I will tell you this one. Let's start with the, let's start with this one. This is the other toilet. I will spray it on my arm. Initially, I do smell the fruits. I do smell, um, like when I say fruits, I'm talking about like not, not, not cherries and stuff. I smell like, I honestly think this smells a little bit like magic shaving cream. Like the one that my uncles used to put on their face way back in the day. That's what I smell. I do smell a little bit of the orange, the blood. I think it has orange blossom in it too. It has, it probably has mandarin and stuff like that. I smell that as a dry down on my arm. Now when I put it on to go, I put it on to go to work. And while I was out and about and stuff, you know, my being out in the warmth of outside, I was only outside for a few hours, but I think that it went away so I couldn't smell it. And so in my head, I'm thinking that it's just a skin scent. And then I took a shower and then I put the, uh, put it on my arm to go to sleep. But then I fell asleep because I was tired and I woke up and I didn't smell it anymore. So I was thinking perhaps Okay, so that, that scent went away. That, I don't know if y'all know what magic shaving cream is. It's an old school shaving cream that my uncles used to put inside a bowl. They mix it with water and it's like plaster Paris. And then they put it on their face and it cracks up like if you put a mask, a clay mask on and then they shave with it. That's from, yeah, that's some real old school stuff. That's what that initially reminded me of. The Coco, Coco Mademoiselle or the Toilette. But after it settled onto my skin, I will tell you, to me, I think it's a skin scent. Okay, and I'm getting a little headachey from it, sniffing, sniffing. So I don't know what it is that's causing that me to have that reaction, but 
I'm putting on my glasses because I have the notes here to see if I was correct with the scents. Yes, Citric Freshness, Oranges of Sicily, Calabrian Bergamot. Um, maybe it has too many, too many components to this. That's probably why I'm getting that. The mid row is lychee, rose, jasmine. I smell the patchouli. I smell the white musk. That's it. The white musk and bourbon vanilla. The only other fragrance I think has bourbon and vanilla mixed to me to, to, together is um, my Elizabeth and James fragrances. Okay, I have pretty much I think all the flankers except for the white one. And um, but if that that bourbon is it's more smooth, it's more sexy, it's more nighttime, it's more I want to eat my arm because it's like sexy enough that I want to eat. You know, it's it's just this. On the other hand. I'm still, this is like a good aftershave or good shaving cream. That's what it smells like. If I'm in barbershop, this is what I'm, in my head, I'm telling you guys, this is what this fragrance is doing to me. This is, these are the things that I'm thinking of. Barbershop or, or yeah, barbershop. I still smell the fruits. So it has like, it's so weird. It has like a, it's, it's a, it's got so many different ingredients. I think it's, it is complex. I wouldn't go so far as to say it's a beautiful fragrance. I just think it's a different fragrance. Coco Mademoiselle, Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle uh, Eau de Toilette is different. I would say that this could probably be a unisex scent. I don't think it's pretty. Yeah, so that's what I think so far on that, okay? So the next one, the one that I wanted him to pick up, but he didn't pick up, and I wanted him to pick it up because it was more expensive, so I didn't want to buy it myself. <laughs> but it was this one here, and this is the beautiful bottle. Look at that. It's, it's such a pretty bottle. This is Coco Mademoiselle. This is the Eau de Parfum. So this one also has, I can smell it right off the top, also has, let's see here. Let's see what the... That's the other thing. You see that the mist, it squirts. So this one smells a little more the nest. It rounds out a little bit right off the top, right? I didn't get that headachey type of. Um, and this isn't. Gosh, I'm still going back to this. It's not the. It shouldn't be. I shouldn't respond like that to this because it's got to be that white musk. I think white musk. That's what it does to me. This one does not smell the same. The Eau de Parfum, Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum does not smell the same as Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Toilette. There is the Chanel DNA, if you can call it that. I don't know if that's what you call it. The Chanel DNA in there. I'm trying to sniff my arm again for the, um, let me do this so I can know which hand is which. There we go. I guess, now this is lightened out and it's, oh yeah, it's lightened out, it's a little more tolerable, okay? This one right off the bat is a pretty scent. It's more rounded out, it's more complex, I think. Right off the bat, I can smell the citrus, I can smell orange blossom, I can smell vanilla. Yeah, just a smooth, complex, um, put together, sophisticated. This one, in my opinion, it, it's more it's more leaning towards that. So this is, the woman that wears this, let me give you all a story here. This woman, she goes out to drink with a couple of boys because she's, you know, she's not casual, but she dresses casually, but looks hip, okay? So she has on a white button down, the kind with the big poofy sleeves. Okay, nice color, but the color isn't button, you know, the color isn't down. Okay, the color isn't down. It's kind of like me. All right, let's take me for example. This is a regular schmegler t-shirt. She walks around with it like this, and it's a thing. It's a mood. It's happening. Okay, she's not wearing diamonds that she's wearing. She could, because she can afford it. She can afford two carats, like four carats total, one in each ear, and not the kind that hangs down, you know, the kind that fits properly in the ear, you know, the kind that's already... The, the, the white, it's not even white gold. She uses um like titanium and it's palladium clothing. Who knows, right? But in my head, that's what it is. And she walks around with that white shirt, okay, tucked in a little bit of the front, okay, an Hermes belt, okay, an Hermes belt, that's right. She's still wearing Hermes, okay? 
all right that's what she's wearing and her shirt has a little bit of puffy sleeves right and the collar let me wait now the collar is popped popped up you hear me the collar is popped up and it's popped up but no makeup is getting on her shirt that's how good she is that's how she is and guess what I don't even like smoking okay but she can smoke a cigar with the boys and look better than them making the rings as she's puffing it up I shouldn't bring the smoking reference because you know that's not really healthy but you get what I'm talking about right or she would ask for a glass a drink and she would say can I have a rum and coca-cola please may I have a rum and coca-cola please she won't say can she say may I have a rum and coca-cola please that's what she would say this is the uh, hip sister whose hair is cut on one side is cut short one side is cut long in the bob okay she has an undercut right with color like dark color underneath or light color underneath dark on the top but it's well blended it's not no you know it's not no cheap haircut it's still expensive haircut because this is this is <laughs> this isn't cheap this is expensive that's what she's wearing okay hair is like that she's got on rocker studs you know the one that has the hole you put your hole the earring that you, you the hole i forgot what they're called but it stretches your ear out she's got that on and she's got a horn up here she's got the earring pierced here but you know she's got money you know why she knows she's got money because she's walking around with an airman's belt too but she's got the airman's belt on she's got the alligator right with the bright color yes that's what this chick's got on right here right and she's wearing, because I got a pair, so I know what they look like. She's wearing the Jimmy Choo biker boots. And not because it's fashionable, because she's got a bloody Harley sitting out front. She then came to the club to meet her sister, who's a little more put together, you know, in her mind. This one here rolled up in her Harley. And not the cheap Harley either, the expensive ones. That's right. Okay? You, you, you catch me drift? Yes, that's what I think because when I smell this, I smell my uncle's aftershave, not aftershave, the, the magic shaving cream, but this complex because it's got the fruits and all of that light, you know, it, it, it takes you out. It makes you think, oh, she's like all pretty, but she's not like that. She's pretty, but she's not like that. She will knock you out. She's got muscles. You see that? Yeah, that's what this chick is, but I, I wouldn't wear this though. I would wear this faster than that because I want to be... <laughs> I want to be the one in the white shirt. <laughs> but I'm this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, let me give you the notes on this one. It's um got patchouli in it. It's citrus. It's got oranges. It's got, let's see, mandarin, orange blossom. And then the um, mid notes. I'm going to put it up on the screen for you guys too. The mid notes. Ooh. Fancy mimosa. It's got mimosa, jasmine, Turkish rose, ylang ylang. Ylang ylang. I smelled it. Um, the base is tonka bean, patchouli, and uh, vanilla vetiver, and oponic. I don't know what oponic is, but I'm going to research that, and hopefully I can find out for you. And, of course, vetiver and white musk. I don't know if I said vetiver before. Both of these have white musk in them. But this one did not give me a knocked me like my head hurts. This one here is a little lighter. So, oops, I'm sorry, hit my camera. So I was all up in you guys' face, I'm sorry about that. So let me try that again. Again, these two, this one is a sophisticated, well-rounded, you know, she owns the company, she's a half owner of the company, okay? She's the one who would wear the Jimmy Choo boots over her tights, white shirt tucked in, or white jeans, or black jeans, or whatever jeans, and it's tucked in with an Hermes belt. Oh, orange is my favorite color. Orange, you know, the collar is popped, puffed sleeves, collar is popped in a white shirt, you know, and she's got on her four carat diamond earrings in, you know, her hair is probably, you know, a nice big fro, you know, a nice curly fro. Ooh, you know, I just met someone um, on YouTube and I really like her and I, she has a real thick curly fro. Um, gosh, heavy on the chai? Yeah, I think that's her name. 
<laughs> Sorry, girl, I'll put you out there like that. But her, she's this really big, beautiful, well, in her picture anyways, and I like that. So this is what she'd be wearing, right? She'd walk in. This is her sister who, this is a manly, more to me, more manly because I could smell that doggone magic after uh, magic shaving cream stuff with it, but still has the prettiness. But she won't, look, you know, she rode up. She rode up in a Bentley. She rode up on a Harley. Okay, both of them pretty, but one child, one's high society, the other one is high society, but I'm gonna kick it behind if I want to. That's how she is. So, I didn't give you the notes, or did I? Notes on this, patchouli, orange mandarin, orange blossom, and bergamot on the top notes. And then when you come down to the middle note, it's got Ylang Ylang, Turkish Rose, and uh, Mimosa, and Jasmine. Yes, oh my gosh, this is really pretty. This is very more, this is a lot dressier than the other one. Than the, the Eau de Parfum, Chanel Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum is a lot dressier in scent than the Eau de Toilette. Um, and the base notes for this is, up, I can't pronounce this, but I think it said Oppenek, or Oppenok something to that effect, vanilla, vetiver, and both have white musk in the base. Base notes, white musk in both the Coco Mademoiselle or the Toilette and the Eau de Parfum version. I will say that these do not smell, even though they have very similar components, they don't smell the same, okay? They really don't. I really, really think that if you are going to purchase and you're gonna spend the money on these, I would go with the Eau de Parfum version if you know you like a sweeter, more rounded, more softer, you know, because even though it's bold, even though this Coco Mademoiselle or the Parfum is bold, she, my dear, she's bold but in a quiet way. And I believe both of them will be skin sense. They won't project. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. No. Nope. If you're looking for projection, look somewhere else, in my opinion. Unless you spray a whole bunch of it on it. This one right here, same thing. Projection. Nope, because right now that scent going away. Yep, that scent's going away. So I would say if you have the money to spend, go ahead and get it. But if it were me, I would not buy them. Yeah, because they're really expensive. They smell good. They are Chanel, of course, but I would pass on those two. That's what I would do. And I'm gonna see if I can box those back and take it back to the store. <laughs> I'm just saying, right? <laughs> right there, and yet nobody's touching it, right? So I don't have to worry about Corona. Anyways, guys, that is it. That is what I, those are my thoughts. That's my thoughts uh, on these two Coco Mademoiselle, Coke Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Toilette, Eau de Toilette, and Eau de Parfum. Those are my thoughts. If you have any comments or questions or concerns of what I said, if I, inform, I I don't mean to offend anybody, but please go ahead and make sure you say something to me down below so that I know that you visited and that you're here. If it's if you like these and maybe I'm missing something in the scent, maybe my nose is just different because you know fragrance is personal. You know, please you can talk. We can talk about it. We can chat about it. Okay. But before you do all of that, I really need you to like. I really need you to hit that subscribe button. When you look at the subscribe button, and you hit the subscribe button. When you look to my left you all right you will see a bell hit that notification bell because it will tell you every time i upload a video and you want to have a good time with me because i want to have a good time with you and we friends right and you're gonna do that for your friend right <laughs> all right so if you're one of those individuals that's all the way to the end to hear what my thoughts are again my name is pam and this is the pam fam and i really appreciate you coming to my new subscribers thank you thank you thank you thank you to my old subscribers meaning you were subscribed yesterday and before Thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Y'all see how I am. This is just dude, what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, I try. <laughs> All right. So guys, I'm also trying to reach 500 subscribers by uh, August 17th, which is my son Christian's birthday. He is an angel. And so therefore, that's why I ask you guys to subscribe and please share my video. All right. If you have any questions, please, please, please don't forget to comment, please. All right. And I'll see you at the next video. Please be safe. Wear a mask. Kick. Bye. <laughs>